Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will make an Aruko marker detection program. So, in this, there are some modules required. So, those are CV2, and there is one more module which is OpenCV Contrib. But if we do it from pip, it had some problems. So, do this from this command and just go to the end of it and just remove the three, okay? And just try this command out okay and then i have some more fixes these commands just run it over here okay yes and just say this okay so now we are ready to go with the tutorial so these are some basic models that we required if you run this it gives no error so the solution that we applied was for this module but the problem is it not gets updated in VS Code. So what you have to just do is right click over here, say reveal in file explorer, close the VS Code and again say open with VS Code. Okay. So now it will have no problems guys. It will just give one warning message or something like that but it will not have any problems. Okay. So next thing that we need to do is create and simple video captures and those are stuff, okay? Camera index, if you're using your main camera, specify here zero. If you want to use your second camera, specify one, okay? In this while loop, specify underscore comma image means we will get our image means we are accessing every frame by frame in the video capture and this is real time guides okay it works fine on cpu also and right over here say here wait key brackets one if that is equals to one and three means q then break it and i'll call here an i am show method okay window name will be img and img and i will create here and variable called video cap and by default it will be as false but let's run this code okay so it should show the video means the webcam okay let's see that it works or not guys so again it's a bit slow down because of recording so you can see my webcam live capture if i just press q it exits okay so next thing that we want to check that if the user wants not to use video capture either than he wants to work with images so i have here two images to work with and i will just place it in an if loop if let's say here video cap not video capture it's video cap okay means if the it's that condition is true then do that else what you can just do is uh, you can create an image as i am read okay it's an built in function in cv2 i am read for that you don't have to install the contract library don't worry about it and right over here First, I will go with 1.png, then we will see 2.png, okay? I'll show you 2.png is this and 1.png is and basic Aruko markers image. And some image just are also a bit rotated, I don't know. Okay, then after doing this, if we run this, now it will show the image, okay? I believe it will show the image. okay here we go so as you can see it shows us the image but the same problem you have that the image is too big okay in that case i will just write the code in two lines and i will just say image equals to cv2 dot resize in that function you have to give the image and the d size 0 dot 
zero and zero means if you want to increase that then you can specify the width and height for resizing but i will use the fx and fy right now means i want to uh, scale it from an ratio value okay zero point will be perfect zero point five okay so again it should be scaled down check it out okay so now here we go so we have our arubo markers image right over here if i press q it exits and next thing right over here what you want to do let's resize it now also let's try 7 it will work fine ok now let's go to the next thing for let's create a function for the processing ok so i will say find a rupo i will just create a function and for that i will need an image and let's take marker size also and by default let's keep it at 6 because the default values in marker size is always 6 and let's keep total markers first. I think uh, 250 will be enough ok and next thing is we will also draw the markers by default it will be true ok inside this function what I want to do is I want to convert my image to grey because we always need it in programs like this to process the image ok source will be the image so this is my source and the color code will be color underscore bgr to uh, grey yeah so this will convert the image to the grey guys next thing is to get an aru code dictionary I will just call it Aruko Dict as an short form. Okay. And in that, I want to say Aruko dot. So the argument was dictionary. Okay. Dictionary. Dictionary. Okay. Dictionary. And it was get. So this was the function in the aruko main c 2 aruko and the arguments wall it was something called aruko key yes aruko dot in that it was dict okay and it was underscore six by six and then it takes the total markers means in our case it's 250 so what we want to do is specify it by these values okay and i'm not specifying two because aruko marker is and square okay indirectly so that's why i'm getting one so for that it's one function called get attribute so in that what we will do is consider aruko as a variable and the dot dictionary text that all we are getting as an string and it will give us the final uh, function or the statement that we want okay in the get attribute so the first thing is the aruko okay aruko aruko and then the means first one is object object is aruko and then there will be an string okay mm -hmm. and then the string will be an f string of dict okay and underscore for f string we use these curly brackets and in the underscore here we specify the marker size I will just copy this and here comes the x and then again the marker size and then it comes the total markers okay next thing after getting the text 
we have to store it in variable let's call it key so this will be our key and we will get the dictionary as the key okay so far so good next thing is to get the parameters okay and in this variable i will say a row code dot detector parameters detector parameters underscore create okay and after that we have to just get the ba our bounding box and our ids and next element is it's rejected or not that i will skip means as an underscore will specify because i don't need it guys those things you didn't don't need it you can just specify as an underscore okay i will say here aruko dot detect detect markers aruko dot detect markers in that the arguments are the gray image that's why we convert a gray image and then uh the dictionary dictionary and then the next thing will be the parameters 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 equals to here i will say the parameters as a ruko parameters okay so right now i will just print the ids so we will get the aruko marker id there is a specific id for every aruko marker right over here what i will just do is call the function find aruko in that i will specify the image and all those things are by default there okay so now it should process the image properly and it will work fine okay so now what we are doing in short that we are creating an function and resizing it okay so still this image is too huge i think it doesn't got resized yeah so right now if i quit this what it's showing is every aruko marker id okay means every aruko marker has a specific id okay so what i will just do the next thing is also draw the aruko marker means if the user wants to draw then i will draw the aruko markers we we'll say dot draw markers this is an simple statement i will write on the image and bounding box that we need and next thing i will return that to the user i will return my bounding box and the ids okay and i will also store it right over here bounding box and ids and if you want to use this function anywhere else then you can use it let's go okay i think let's try 0.4 i don't know how it will be you can just mess with mess up with those values if you want to descale okay so so now the just we need is our final result okay okay draw markers the no argument called draw markers oh yeah yeah those draw detected markers detected my bad now it should give no error in this if we see okay it's taking a bit of time so again it shows oh sorry i just i just placed it wrong i have to just play, place it over here yeah now it will have no error okay again it's taking time because we are doing this on cpu and okay here we go 
So right over here, this image is perfectly scaled. And best thing in this that you can see the squares at the corners means that's the start point. And means these all are normal Aruko markers, these four and these two Aruko markers are rotated guys. So if I close this and if I open my second image, this one. Okay, let's try it out on the second image. Means I have taken that image on a paper guys. If you want to do it with the webcam, just change this to true. As we did before guys. Okay. So it's too small. Right now what I will just do. I'll just comment the statement out. Now it will be not that much small but it works fine. Just check it out guys. Okay again it's taking some time. yeah so now you can see that it works fine on paper also and it also gives more accuracy on paper so you can see that it works if you want to do this on webcam as i told before just simply change it to true means just change it to the true then it will work so thanks for watching guys